Welcome to another Maths Heroes video where we learn to speak the language of mathematics so that everyone can be a hero. So the other week I asked one of the students I tutor, I said, how does 24 become 240? How does that work? And she said to me, well, if 24 is here, I could add 6, I could add, so that gets me to 30, I could add another 10 to get to 40, and then another 200 to get to 240. And I actually had said, um, if eight threes are 24, how could I get to 240? So I'd actually written uh, eight times three, and three times eight equals 24. So I had said that, but she didn't use that. She went straight to addition, which tells me she's really struggling, A, with multiplying by 10, which has the consequence of not understanding place value. So when I say place value, the value of a digit or any number is determined by where it is in this, this sequence here. So three ones becomes three tens and zero ones. Th three tens becomes three hundreds. Right, and it's always a multiply of 10. So when I said to her 24, and I said it times by 10 or 10 times the value, it's a place value shift, it's a, it's a shift in the value times 10, I now have 240. So that was, the, that was our starting point come back to that one later. So the first thing we did was we said okay 24 um, I could do 24 times 10 and we literally I said I've got 10 fingers you've got 10 fingers we'll do all of those fingers and then four more so we literally went 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 and again and then four more fingers so we were happy that that was 240. I then said well what does 10 groups of 24 look like me I'll do it like that and so I drew a 10 frame And I said, okay, well, we've got 24. So I'm just going to, for quickness, I'm just going to do this, like this. So that's the 20 and that's the 4. So, yep, I've got 10 groups of size 24. So then we went through and we counted. So we said, well, I don't want students thinking 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 24. That's too hard. So I said, let's go. We could go like we, we worked out. We could go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I could go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. With the fours, and I actually had um, this one up with me. Right, I said we could count 4, 8, and we counted 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. So we had another 40 with all the 4s. So that's the flick between 10 4s is the same as 4 10s. That's what this is. Okay, so all together we had... 240. So we were happy with that. So then I moved on. So this is 24 tens. This is 10 times 24. So we moved on and I said, well, if you know, let's, let's go back. Here is 24 and 24 is two tens and four ones. So there's 24 as well. So then we had a look at that one. And 
if I was counting in groups of eight, a unit of eight, I could say eight, eight, eight. So eight, 16, 24. If I was counting If I was counting in groups of size three, so units of three, it would look like this. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So that is eight groups of three. So it didn't matter whether I looked at it as three eighths or eight threes, it is always the same. So we matched that up with the same blocks. So there's eight threes, here is three eighths. All right, so I could literally just put those over the top. Yep, so we were happy that three eighths is the same as eight threes. So three eighths, eight threes, same, same. Okay, let's move on. So if I'm thinking about multiplying, eight times three or three times eight by 10, right? I could say, 3 times 8 times 10. And if I looked at it as three groups of eight tens, I could do that. So three groups of eight tens. I could also put the 10 here. And that would be looking at it as three groups of 10 eights. Or I could say 30 eights. Yeah, so this is actually 24 tens or three times eight tens. If I was looking here, well, the 10 can go at the end. Whoops. And that way I'm looking at it as eight groups of three tens, or I could put the 10 here. And that would be eight groups of ten threes. So I'm looking at ten threes or three tens, eight tens or ten eights. Right. And at the moment that is very symbolic and very heavy in language. So let's look at what it looks like as a picture. So here we go. I'll just leave that, see if we can leave that there in the screen. Here I go with three groups of eight tens. Three groups of eight tens. So you can see 80 plus 80 plus 80. So if I'm at 80 and I add another 80, so I might go 20 and then 60 to get from 100 to 160. And then I might add another 40 and another 40 to get to 200 and 240. So I always scaffold it on a number line if they're not confident in counting. Um, so you can literally see, well, if I had um, 80 plus 20, that is the same as 100. So 10 tens is the same as 100. Yeah, so I could do that. So here you can see 8, 16, 24 tens is 240. Yeah, so 20, I can think of it as three groups of eight tens, or I can think of it as 24 times 10 is 240 as well. So let's move on. 
What happens if I say three groups of ten eights? Guess what? On the back of eight tens is ten eights. And again, here I go, 80, 160, 240. And this time, I can say, well, I've got three groups of 10 eights, or I've actually got 10, 20, 30. I've got 30 groups of eight. And again, that is 240. So let me do, let me, um, I'll flick that actually back over into eights because that's actually easier to see. Right? Because they are all the same size group. They're groups of 10. But you can see that it's 100, 200, and 40. So that's 240 or 24 tens. So that was the first one done. Let's have a look at eight groups of three times ten. So I've got three tens and I've got eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, if I count by thirties, thirty, and I would actually I put that up here, right? 30 plus another 30 is 60 plus another 30 is 90 plus another 30 is 120 plus another 30 is 150 plus another 30 is 180 plus another 30 is 210 plus another 30 is 240. So you can see here, what have I got? Well, I've got eight groups of three tens, but I also have again 24 tens. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four tens. And again, two hundred and forty. Yeah? So it doesn't matter if I think of it as twenty-four tens or eight times thirty. This one I was thinking as eight three times eighty, or um, I could do uh, thirty times eight. Either way, so the last one is 8 times 10 times 3. So this is 10 threes, and I've got 8 groups of them. So let's have a look what 8 groups of 10 threes look like. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And again, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240. So this time, I have got eight groups of 10 threes. 10 threes, 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 10 threes. And I get 240 again. So this time, I'm thinking of it as... 80 times 3. Right? If I was flicking it around, I was looking at it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 groups of size 3. So it doesn't matter whether you think of 3 times 80, 80 uh, 30 times 8, 8 times 30, 80 times 3. It's all equal to 240. And I could put these and match them again 
Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see that eight groups of three tens is 240. Right, and 10 tens is 100. So it's 240. The reason that we want our students to, to really um, understand all of the place value and so on is because when they start to do things like 3 times 85, we don't tell them just add a zero. We say 3 lots of 80 plus 5, however you do it. Um, so 3 lots of 8 is 24, but 3 lots of 8 tens is 24 tens. And 3 fives are 15, so it must be three. Uh, sorry, 255. Another example, if I had 24 times 15, I know that 10 groups is half of 5 groups. So if I've got 24 times 10, that must be 240. This must be half of it. And I get that. Right. And whether you do another question that looks like this, um, 8 times 37. So again, now 8 times 30 is the same as 8 times 3 times 10, which is 8 groups of 30 is 240 plus my 56 to give me 296. So that's 8 times 37. One last thing before I go. I just wanted to um, reinforce the language that belongs with, with these. So for example, if I was as slow as a snail, I would count 240 ones. If I was an additive thinker, I would see that as two groups of 100 plus four groups of 10. Two hundreds, four tens, zero ones. But if I'm a multiplicative thinker, I can flick to seeing that as 24 equal groups of 10. Unequal sized groups, equal sized groups. So 24 tens is 240. Again, 24 times it by 10 is 240. So a 10 is a, a, a value shift of one place when I multiply by 10 and zero ones. I hope this helps you create maths heroes, feel like a maths hero, be a maths hero, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you for watching.